Prayer is how you will secure your place with Christ. Men ought to always pray. Your view of God is tied to your sacrifice to Him. When a visitation of God we come into Zabulon, we come into Naphtali, the Bible says that the people that sat in darkness in the regions of death, unto them a great light will shine. Jude chapter 1 verse 17 Jude chapter 1 verse 17 Jude chapter 1 from verse 17 can we read it it says but dear friends so do you remember okay you might not be able it will be it will not be wise for me to start deepening the conversation uh, in regards to dear friends without explaining to you so now during Basilia Bible School we started um, I taught you on the context of friendship do you remember and, 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 and part of the things that we learn in Basilia Bible School is that there are four doors that we introduced in nature was there are five but the fifth one I did, I did not really emphasize on it uh, who can tell me those of you that uh, if you don't pass this one this question please look at them deny them graduation on Saturday uh -huh. what are the four modules that we practice in Basilia Bible School the first one is believers class and I began teaching and I showed you how it's very relevant as a believer to begin doctrine from believers class if you start jumping these classes and you are now arriving at friendship that's why we can we can know what is an, is in that docket so the first one is believers class I told you how where it falls in the Bible maybe we that's a big maybe we might be releasing this content on social media platforms and on TV after we graduate so that y'all can know what you're missing is believe me it, it's deep it's very deep so the first one is believers class the second one discipleship, discipleship. I told you there's a difference between a believer and a disciple with a disciple there is following involved no questions asked you just follow your emotions don't count here oh bishop I feel you don't love me we don't care have you ever told God in that uh, that have you ever had people tell God oh God I feel like I'm alone <laughs> let me tell you if you really are alone the day Jesus leaves you Satan will come then you will now know if you are really alone. Then after discipleship class, what's the next one? Servant. Servanthood. There is a difference between a disciple and a servant. And part of the scriptures that support that, the Bible says an heir as long as he's a servant differs not, as long as he's a child differs not from a servant. So in servant, they service. You, they, listen to me. The reason why we have immature, if at all we have, a lot of immature men on the altar is because we were not told to follow this. And I know most of the things we are teaching are new. Myself too, I never had them. Me, myself too. I am very grateful that the Lord taught me. I didn't know them. Can you imagine you take your child that's one year to university? Is it not a school? But what's the what's the problem? A, 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 a one-year-old child. What's what's a two-year-old child? What what should he be learning? Huh? What should a one-year-old child be learning? Learning. Now imagine taking that child and putting that child in university and claiming CPR on you too. See, there are people too. What's the difference? Have you ever had people say that? See, they have two hands. I have two hands. <laughs> You will, you, you will stay in that le level for a very long time. I've had a lot of proud people. See, I'm a macho kama mimi. See, I'm a yeni mutu. See, he has one head. See, listen, it's not about head. It's about grace. There's a grace that is curriculum based. Based on where you are with God is the grace operating on your life. So if you take a class, one child, and you put that child in university, you have exposed that child prematurely 
to a realm that is a reality, but it will swallow that child because that child has not yet developed the muscle in the spirit to be able to caption what that person in university is learning. And this is why even the things of art, art people are very wise. They know that it begins with kindergarten. That's why you are taught how to use a potty. You understand? You are taught all those things. You are taught. Then you now come, class one, they start telling you about baby bo, all those things. Can I, now imagine you in, in your life, your body, you are in university, bodily. But when we listen to your mouth, you are, you, you are 34 and you are saying ba baby. That's a lot of doctrine I hear today. It's like an old man and he's saying ba baby bobu. Will you? It will be awkward, right? But if a child says ba baby bobu, it's not awkward. It means growth is tied to timings. And you should not be happy that you are growing. You should be asking yourself, this thing I'm doing, should I out, out have outdone it? Is it that I'm still doing ba baby bobu? At a moment where I should be dealing with nations. Could it be that I'm behind in my curriculum? You are in a class, but you are not even learning the curriculum. So that's what is happening here. And that's why I took time to take people through the courses. Believers class. In a believers class, there are things that are accustomed to a believer. When you are now coming into the knowledge of who Jesus is, you have accepted the Lord, you, are, you have been born again. That's a believers class. Then you now accept disciple. And can I tell you, not everyone that begins as a believer ends as a disciple. You can be born again, but you're not following. You understand? In discipleship, it means you subscribe. You're not only believing, you are subscribing. Elisha believed that Elijah is a disciple, is, is, a, is a prophet. But by Elisha, Killing the oxen. Elisha subscribed in, in followership. You subscribe to the principles of that person. So I now told you that's what you, have, you find in a believer's course. And you need time to really, when we release this information, you will understand deeply. Then we come to the third one, which is service. A lot of us, they just, listen, you, you believed, you jumped discipleship. That's what we have today in the world. You enter servant, service. I don't know if you are seeing it. You didn't follow. You are not discipled. You just believed. You got born again. Thank you, Lord. See you. Then you missed the discipleship class. You started serving God before knowing God. Because you cannot know God in service. You will only know God in discipleship. The, what, the thing that is captured... You see, I'm not... Even, the, now... This is my problem. I don't know if it's a problem. Do you realize we are still on the third word in this verse? You see how, Bible, how Bible, the Bible is? You, you are already in Revelation. In fact, you are finished. You are now reading a reporter. You have finished the Bible. I've had many people say, I can finish the Bible in one month. You cannot finish the Bible. Don't, stop doing that. Is this not a novel? The way I teach can only tell you. Now, can you imagine the way I teach? How long will it take me to finish the Bible? I'm on, but dear friends, I'm still explaining, dear friends. That's how heavy it is. So a lot of us, we, we believe you got born again. You jumped discipleship. You started serving God. Do you remember the sons of Skiva? They had jumped discipleship. And into service, you will be checked by your, who, who, where did you serve? He says, Peter, we know. Why? He's a disciple. Uh, he says, Jesus, we know. Jesus is actually following his father. He said, who are you? Who, who discipled you? And they know you want people to leave wheelchairs. Do you prefer that you did miracles for God and you never entered heaven? I hope you know that's possible. He says that we did miracles in your name. Have you read the scripture? We, we healed in your name. We, we, in your na it means God can use you. But you, he doesn't know you. Yeah, you keep doing what you're doing. Just the same way as Pharaoh was used to save Egypt. But that's, it doesn't mean Pharaoh belongs to God. <laughs> so we now jump to the discipleship class. We start serving God. We start, wait, we start building a church. <laughs> mm. 
You have already anointed four disciples. When the time comes for discipleship, you are not trained. You don't even know who you are serving. Then we now leave servant. We now enter the last realm, which is what? This is what I was explaining. So this one is for friends. If you have not journeyed to that one, if you notice the sequence I've taught, you are not, don't, this is not your verse. Look for where you are in your course. This one is limited. It says, but dear friends, the kind of information that is about to be deployed here, it, you, you need to have journey to friendship for you to be able to know as a friend, I cannot do this. I can't hurt God. Not as a believer. Because as a believer, you are still trained. You are, still, you are under training. Don't do this. Don't, as a friend, no. I cannot do this now. No one needs to tell me. I don't need to be in, dark, in light, in darkness. For me, not, no. I will not do this. So this one is for friends. Are you? So, please, I'm sorry. I didn't break your heart. I just needed you to understand so that you don't start saying, Amen! Oh my God! Yeah, you are talking this... No. This one requires a lot. Have you seen the... <laughs> Have you seen the sequence? Do you understand now the sequence? So this one, I wonder in this... Those of you that are listening and those ones here, if I say that this is not for... This is only for friends. I wonder if there is anyone I should be teaching them. Is there anyone I should be teaching as friends? It depends. You are the one that knows where you are in your creed. Don't lie. Glory. Don't lie to yourself. You say, aye. Aye. Do you know when I got... It's not when you got one again. It's, did you pass through the courses? 